Okay, let's take a look at this example here. If we want to produce, let's say, 100,000 DVDs, and um, assuming that these are the special DVDs that you're able to produce, when we set the price here, we need to understand, of course, what is the manufacturing cost, which we learn in Chapter 16, 17. How do we break down these costs and then combine them at the end, mark up a price to determine the retail price for each and every product? So you have fixed costs, 160000 plus, um, of course, the variable costs all together. The cost for generating these special DVDs costs $810,000. And your desired profit here for this season is 300000 So you add that part up, the target revenue will be this dollar amount, and then you spread it out, the units that you actually produce. So this is just the steps of how you add up the costs, market the desired profit, and how you set the price for each and every unit. Of course, all these decisions, the desired profit, needs to be re referenced on also customer's demand for this product. Okay, but just again for um, companies that provide more unique products, they just have more control over setting the price. If it differs from the market price, it wouldn't really affect their profit that much compared against some of the price takers' businesses.